Hey guys, welcome to Atlas of Nutrition. My name is Summer and today I'll be showing you how to dehydrate apples. These are a great nutritious snack that you can mindlessly eat without guilt. They are a good addition to oatmeal, yogurt, or homemade trail mix, and they're something easily made in bulk that can store for a long time. I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes, but for now, let's get started. First things first, I'll be washing these apples. I like to wait until I'm about to use them or eat them to wash them. It just saves on that protective barrier that they have. I explain it a little more in detail in my previous video. I'll put a link to the description box down below, but just make sure you rub all these apples to get that layer of film off. Now I'll be cutting the apples. I'm just gonna do a square cut away from the core and then I'll be doing quarter inch thick slices. Don't worry too much about those rounded edges, they will dehydrate with the rest, they just may be a little bit more chewy. This is my dehydrator, I have a Nesco Snack Master Pro Food Dehydrator, it is fantastic for dehydrating apples as well as fruit leather or sun-dried tomatoes and jerky. Those are the only things I've made on it, so that's as much as I can tell you. For now, I'm just going to be putting the apples on the rack. For one of the racks, I will be adding cinnamon. It is an extra bit of flavor. The apples will be naturally sweet, so you wanna be sure to use regular cinnamon opposed to cinnamon sugar. I'm just coating the tops, flipping them over, and coating the bottom. So now it's time to plug in your dehydrator. Since I am doing it in five hours throughout the day, I put it on the highest temperature. Typically if you do it overnight, you wanna put it to the specific fruits and vegetables temperature. With the oven, you just wanna do the same preparation, cutting the apples in those square blocks, doing the slices, and then setting your oven temperature to the lowest temperature it will go. After preheating your oven, you want to lay your apple slices on a baking sheet. Again, don't overcrowd them, but they will dehydrate about the same as a dehydrator on this. You can absolutely do it in your toaster oven. It is the same method as the regular oven, just adjust your baking sheet size, or you can put it on the rack, and remember to check it periodically because of that safety mechanism that will turn off the toaster oven after a certain amount of time. I like to go back and check my apples every once in a while, and then of course I always steal a little snack. After a couple of hours, you wanna check on your apples just to make sure they're dehydrating at the rate you want them to. Right now, they are chewy, they are malleable. This is the perfect time to take them out if you're gonna eat them within the next day or two because they won't last too long since they have that extra moisture in there. After about five hours from the start time at 160 to 170 degree temperature, they are completely dehydrated. This is what you're looking for when you want to store them for months on end. You want that crunch, that break apart. This is perfect. Once you have achieved that perfect texture, it's time to pull them out of the oven. And don't they look great? Both the dehydrator and the oven make perfect dehydrated apples. Now I'll be taking them and putting them in a bowl to let them cool down. So it is a little early, but I do like to dice my apples at this time. When you dice them while they're still warm, it is a little harder to cut, but when they cool down, they have a crisp edge all along the apple rather than just in the parts that were exposed to the air. The dicing is great for the yogurt, the oatmeal, and the trail mix I mentioned before. 
to package them, you just put them in a Ziploc bag, squeeze the air out of it, and seal it up. I like to put the date on it so that I know which ones to eat first, because I do like to make batches every time I get apples. Be sure to separate them by flavor so you don't get them mixed up, and don't forget to label them. I use oats, chia seeds, cinnamon, bananas, and of course the diced apples. You can mix them in with the oats when you pour the hot water in or when you're boiling the oats, but I like to put them on top as the extra crunch factor that you feel. Plus they look very pretty. The second way that I like to eat them is just by my workstation. It's mindless, it's guilt-free, and they are mess-free. But for right now, I'm packing a little snack with my diced apples, and we are going to the field to have a little fun. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you think you're going to make some dehydrated apples. And subscribe, and we'll see you next time.